Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast for Barely Breathing. Um, This is actually the 100th podcast as well. Uh, So thank you so much for everyone who has continued to listen and to support me for the past few years. I can't believe it's already been 100 podcasts. It's crazy. All right, so tonight, a pretty good episode. Um, You know, the big parts were, of course, with Maya, who she's just such an awesome character. I absolutely love her. Um, The plot tonight still continued to be great. It was exciting. I didn't know, you know, what to expect. Uh, The fight and the confrontation uh, with Zoe was great. You know, Maya performing the song in class about Zoe was great. You know, she had some incredible lines tonight, um, great acting. It was just great. And I'm glad that she's not going to press charges because I thought, okay, that's a little bit, you know, ridiculous. I don't know if it was that serious of a thing. I mean, of course, it, it was horrible, you know, what she went through. But I don't know if it was necessarily, you know, something worthy uh, to press charges over. But, you know, the, the plot and everything with Maya is great. I love her. Uh, with Miles, everything about it was just great in my eyes, and, you know, it was really fun to watch, you know, this week and last week, and I cannot wait to see where, you know, her character will keep going. She's definitely, I think, probably the best part about the show in its current state. We also had more with Allie and Leo. You know, I was really hoping that she would be strong and be done with him, But of course, you know, she ends up going back if he promises, you know, to get help for his rage issues. And then she says, you know, if you do it one more time, then I'm gone. And then earlier in the episode, she talks about how she doesn't want to be the girl, you know, who keeps going back and and saying, you know, that kind of thing. Um, But, you know, maybe they do have something good, you know, and if he he knows he has issues and if he is going to work on it. You know, why should he be punished for, you know, a mistake? And, you know, what he did was obviously very wrong and horrible. Um, You know, but if he's actually going to try and get better, you know, then maybe it could, you know, turn into something good. But I still feel like there's going to be some bad things happening between Ali and Leo. And I'm really not happy she stayed with him because I really don't think it was the best choice. But like I said, maybe... You know, maybe a small chance that it could work out in the end. Um, and finally, Drew. You know, looking for Dallas, doing their presentation. Like I said last week, the whole thing with Dallas to me just felt a bit off. You know, I mean, he was he's off the hockey team now. We know that from, surprise, surprise, Luke, who pops up in this episode, who has been gone all of season 13. And it's been gone for, like, the last couple episodes of season 12, too. So he randomly popped up again, just like in last week's episode when we had, you know, the pop-ups. Um, but, yeah, it, it almost, to me, felt like Drew should be in Dallas' spot and Dallas should have been in Drew's spot. You know, because Drew lost Adam and he's been through a lot more. And, you know, for me, the whole thing... I mean, the acting was great, you know, and it was fairly interesting, but I just, I didn't feel like the plot went with Dallas's character. So that was my only real issue about that. But I liked the ending, you know, they kind of hugged it out, and uh, Dallas called Drew Audra as a joke. And, you know, overall, everything tonight was really good. Um, This could potentially be maybe my favorite episode of the season so far. Definitely very high up at the top. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, Next week, a possible breakup between uh, Eli and Claire is is the big moment in the preview, so we'll have to see what happens uh, with that. So thank you so much, everyone, for listening. 100 podcasts, and I will talk to you all next week.